Welcome to lesson four. In this lesson, we're going to talk about choosing a theme or what some people call a layout or template for their website. And uh, luckily with WordPress, you have lots and lots of different options as to how you want to make your website look. So what we're going to do here is scroll down to our uh, different menu options here and choose Appearance. And then under Appearance, you'll see there's a section that comes up by default called Themes. Now I'm going to go back to the top. Currently, by default, because this is a brand new blog, uh, WordPress has automatically assigned us the 2010 theme, which is actually, in my opinion, it's not a bad theme. It, it used to start, WordPress used to give you a really, really um, ugly theme to start with. 2010 is a lot nicer, and in, in some cases for new bloggers, I recommend they just use that and they don't, they don't change anything. However, I want to walk you through some of the things that are available here, um, specifically when it comes to looking at uh, your blog and the layout. So the 2010 theme is your default. There's options here where you can, and I'm not going to go through them all because I want you to take some time now to uh, to try it yourself. But you can look at uh, widgets, menus. There's extras. If you're if you're advanced at design, you can even edit the uh, this, the style sheet, the CSS for this particular theme, and really make it look the way you want it to look. Um, in this course, I'm going to show you how to do some basic customization, which will be very helpful to new bloggers. But more advanced people would, would probably want to look at uh, a more advanced course for really changing the layout. So take some time now to uh, look at all the different options. Uh, I wouldn't suggest changing anything, just familiarize yourself with it. Then scroll down and you'll see a section called Browse Themes. Again, very powerful in the sense that WordPress.com gives you all kinds of different options to go and find free themes to make your blog look a certain way. Now, one thing I, I, I will do here quickly is um, we're going to take a quick look at this blog, because I haven't actually shown you, showed you what this blog looks like yet. So I just opened a new tab here, and you can see this is your sort of your default layout with the 2010 theme. Small biz tips for you at the top. We've got a, a little image in here, and then a home and an about page. These are all the defaults we're going to go through as we go through this course, showing you how to change a lot of this stuff. But when you look at our theme settings here, you can see this is the theme that sort of sets the, sets the tone or the layout for our website. Back to where I was talking about before, browse themes. Here's where you can choose uh, other layouts. Now, the first 15 come up here, but there are um, there's thousands you can actually choose from across the internet. If you look at some of the previews here, if you want your website to, let's say, have a gray background and maybe a little bit thinner writing area, you might want to try this uh, Vostok um, theme. What's cool about WordPress is you can actually preview in real time what your blog would look like if you choose to go to a theme like Vostok or any other one. So let's hit preview. Here you can see small biz tips for you in a new layout. I don't like this layout, so I'm going to stick with the 2010 theme. So I'll just close this preview here, go back to our, uh, our theme area. I'm going to stick, like I said, with the 2010 theme. At this time, you might want to go ahead and spend five or ten minutes browsing all of the different themes. You might find something that really suits what you're trying to do. For the purposes of this course, we're going to stick with the 2010 theme, but in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how you can do some customizations just to make it look the way you really want your blog to look.